Hey, it's David at Pro Run. Uh, I need to build a chalkboard easel or chalkboard A-frame uh, for us to use the farmer's market. The one that we currently have works, except it's only one-sided, and I want something to put in front of the booth um, so that you can see it from both sides and I can write on both sides. Um, I have a piece of poplar that I just cut down, but, you know, uh, three feet long. I'm going to cut this into two-inch strips. Uh, or two and a half inch strips probably because I have to wait for that. Um, and then maybe some lap joints. It's about an inch thick, maybe a little overkill for a chalkboard, but it's going to actually last a while and it should look pretty good. It's going to be nice and simple though. So stay tuned and we're going to get this built. All right, I had a uh, slight miscalculation on my width. Set it to uh, two and a quarter. Really should have set it two and an eighth. So this piece is two inches long. Excuse me, two inches wide. These guys are two and a quarter. Uh, this will probably be the bottom style um, or rail, and these will be the top and sides. We'll see. We'll see how this works out. It's not a big deal. I'm not really worried about it. It's, again, not supposed to be perfect. We're not going to be perfect because that's not the point. So anyway, let's just uh, trim these guys up. These are going to be a little long. Um, and that's just the way it's going to work. Um, sorry. They're going to be a little long because I need to have um, legs on it is basically what it gets down to. I also just realized that I only have not quite half of what I need. Let's see. So I have, I need another leg. So I need four legs and I need four styles, but this can be cut in half. So I got to go grab another piece of wood. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, I'm going to say this. If you watched my previous video about building my wall cabinet with pocket screws, I kind of complained about getting things lined up, etc. I think, you know, grand scheme of things, that was just way too big of a project, meaning too many shelves, too many everything, um, should have just made videos for it, etc. Um, but for something like this, pocket screws are great. I love it. You know, I've got nice joints. I didn't have to cut anything fancy in it. I'm not trying to make a, a work of art here. I'm trying to make a A, a frame, you know, easel like so. I'm going to put a couple of hinges on there and a couple of stops, obviously. But, you know, we're, we're getting there. We're making some good progress. So, I'm happy. It works for me. I got my uh, two pieces cut, 17 and a half. Um, wide and then I left my 24 um, length that they already were I think they're hair under that as expected I'm gonna have to clip these corners out to get everything in um, so I'm gonna do that right now Oh, I need to paint this first before I pack it into place. But looks good. And I think I'm gonna chamfer this edge. Maybe we'll be doing that tomorrow. Anyway, not so bad. All right, so here's the finished product. It is painted uh, dark blue color, which is similar to our logo. Um, as I pointed out, I did round over all these corners with the round over bit um, after I put it all back together. You know, I didn't make, oh, some of my joints aren't 100% perfect, but you know what? This is just a sign, you can't see it. Uh, just a couple of simple hinges that I screwed in. And then the panels are secured. I just happen to have these brass screws that my father had from doing a bunch of antique repair from years and years ago. So they look nice and I thought I would use these brass screws, just screwed them in, holds the panel in pretty well. 
Um, and so that's that, you know, pretty simple, straightforward, and it's all done, as you can see. Uh, it is a bit heavy. It's a little heavier than I kind of imagined it would be. Um, I suppose if I had to make another one, I might consider, you know, um, some thinner stock, but making thinner stock meant that I would just have to plane it away, so why bother? Um, I also thought about putting a handle on it, but for me, I can just grip onto it and lift it up without a problem, as you can see. So I can carry it just like that, works great. And the other thing that I had mentioned too was about putting in a stop so that this can't open further. But it's so heavy, it really has not been a problem. My ground's not level, that's why this wobbles. Um, so, at this time I'm just leaving it the way it is. If I have a problem, I'll do that at some other point. So, anyway, I think it came out really well. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you liked what you saw, give me a thumbs up. I love it. And you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day.